the race card whenever there's a situation and um, a black person is being threatened by someone other than a black person the assumption is that the black person is going to pull the race card out um, I've chronicled in my videos the situation I had at a job which was pretty much the last permanent job I had and it was a temporary job I used to work six months out of the year and then the other six months I you know worked for different people in the catering company <clears throat> so when all the shit hit the fan over at that one job everybody assumed I was playing the race car I didn't play the race car um, the people who did the investigation for the county they played the race car I'll never forget when we we're going through the um, investigation process and I'm being questioned the lady constantly says are you sure they didn't you know not hire you because you're black are you sure that you know this and that you know wasn't because I was black and I told this woman if anything I faced unfair work practices if anything I was a whistleblower I pointed out that I had benefited from some of those unfair work practices that I had benefited. I mean, I actually got in to where if I did something wrong, you know, I wouldn't really be punished like everybody else. But um, I had to work myself into that position to be one of the people, one of the guys, so to speak. But hindsight is twenty twenty. If I went all out screaming the race card because a couple people called me the N-word and gave me a picture of black ducks on it, if I went all out on the race card, what would have been the outcome? Instead, I chose not to go that route. I wanted to see justice prevail. I didn't want the race issue to be an issue. Because that's all people see, and they shut you up when you scream that N-word shit. But when it comes down to the election, black man running against a white man, will the white people of America listen to the black man? Will the people pay attention to the one that's voted in? Will black people show this man the respect that he should have? Would white people actually give a damn, you know, about the president if he's not one of theirs? Um, there's a difference between him and us. Speaking of Obama and the average black person. Obama's plight is Obama's plight, not mine. The things I went through in life I don't think Obama can handle and the things Obama went through in life I probably couldn't handle and that's the same with any white man or whatever color person you may be the race card is no more than people's feelings it's certain ideology how I think based upon what I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be a black person how can you call me a black person? I'm not black. I'm a human being. My skin is brown. My hair is black. White people. Now, if you're looking at YouTube right now and you're looking at just this video by itself, half of this damn page is white. And if you put a person that's allegedly a white person next to a white piece of paper, the quote unquote white person is actually darker than the piece of paper. Therefore, how can this white man actually be white? Um, the race card. Is my race black? Is my race <laughs> African? My race is human. So, my ethnic background is different than my race. You know what I mean? 
We are part of the human race. There's no such thing as the white race, the black race, the African race, the, the Chinese, Japanese race. That's, that's all man-made. We're only one race. We're one species, the human species, the human race. So the race card in itself is prejudice. It was built to divide. And as a species, what's the first thing we learn militarily? I don't know if women learn this, but most men learn this early. And um, those who hear me speak this slow, when I speak this slow, I really want you to understand what I'm saying. We have learned early as kids. Man, I know I learned early. Divide and conquer. If you and three guys are coming to attack me, what do I do? If I know there's going to be trouble between me and three different person, three different people, I'm sorry, or persons with an S, what do I do? There's three guys coming at me. Now, Men are different than women, only in one aspect. The mob mentality, the group mentality. Um, if four guys, the three or four guys are going to come mob on you, they don't think. They just act. So in any act, there has to be a reaction. Three guys are coming to me. I take out the biggest one first. Apparently there's a fear level, the big one strong. The big one is a, a, a well rounded target. See. And another thing. Three guys are coming at you. Who do you take out first? Well, they're not saying anything. You take out the big one. You go after the biggest threat. Regardless. You just take that big son of a bitch down. Excuse my language. Now, three guys coming at you. And they all look pretty evil. Um, evil. Equal. Who do you take out? You take out the one that's doing the most talking first. And then the other two will be in disarray. Just like when you take out the big one, the other two will be like, damn. So you divide and conquer. As a species... As a race, we have been divided into our own colors or whatever, shapes and sizes, and placed away in different zones. All the brown ones here, all the pink ones here, all the red ones there, all the... So one day, as we move closer towards each other, an animosity grows. The animosity is there because you don't know about the other person. You don't know anything about this person. Therefore, races are created. I'm a different race of human being than you. We're all this, we're all that. We're all this and da da da. The race card. Man made fiction. Doesn't work to help anybody. How can I help you? Pretty good. Oh, I haven't went over there yet. As soon as I go over there, because I don't even think he's gonna get to town till later on. Hmm. Yeah. So as as soon as I get up, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm up now. I just walked the dog, but uh. Um, I don't know if he's back yet exactly. My friend uh, came from the job. He came over here last night and he told me, yeah, he's coming back tomorrow. But I don't know exactly which time today he'll be back. But I'm, I already told Elijah that I'll bring the money over there to you as soon as I uh, get the paychecks in. No problem. I'll call you and let you know. Well, see, see, he still got the job. It's just right now ain't no work. You see, when it ain't no work, ain't nobody doing nothing, and you know, 